So I've got here my um, basic outline of the vehicle that I want to draw. And just so you can see it better, I'm just going to make it a little darker. It's already been constructed in two-point perspective, but I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing here. So I've got all my lines going off to the vanishing points right here. It's below the horizon. Uh, the one that I've not darkened here is this one because this is where I'm going to have my the axles of my wheels. So the first, one, first thing I want to do is uh, pick the points where the centers of the wheels are going to be. So there's going to be one center there and one center there. And because they're on this side of my uh, object, I'm going to have my axles of my wheels going through there to the vanishing point number one. So... Let's lightly draw those in, there, and right there. Now, in order to draw a correct ellipse for my wheel, I need an, a line which is at 90 degrees, in other words, perpendicular to this line which I just drew as my axle of my wheel. So, let's... Um, <clears throat> Use these cross lines on the ruler to create a 90 degree line. Right there. I didn't get that quite exactly the right position, so I'm going to use it this way instead. There, like that. And there, like that. So you can see they're slightly different angles because they are going at slightly different angles to the vanishing point. But that is 90 degrees to there. That is 90 degrees to there. Now when you've got an ellipse, you have a major axis and a minor axis. And the, in this case, the major axis, in other words, the longest part of the ellipse, will be going along that 90 degree line that I just drew. Okay, And you have to kind of eyeball it. You have to... Uh, make sure you've got your that you're drawing like that, but make to you get the width correct You've got to kind of eyeball it. So I'm just gonna make that really light to start with a number one line and Then on the other one, it's going to be a slightly different angle And it's going to be a little smaller because it's further away because of the perspective and you can see now that I've got that pretty well nailed so that is the two wheels of my vehicle. Now, of course, they're gonna have a thickness, so from that tangent point there, I'm gonna send a, a line off towards the vanishing point, and here as well, a line off towards the vanishing point, and then another line just up there like that, and a bit of shading, because it's gonna be in shadow. And that gives me the perfect base on which to build the drawing of my car. So, line to the vanishing point, 90, a line 90 degrees to that, and then the ellipse that you draw for the wheel, the long or the major axis of that ellipse goes along your 90 degree line right here. Give that a try, show me how it works out.